Packets from China! Sorry, just needed to do it again. Hey, welcome back to the Wicked Gamer and Collector. Welcome back to a new video. So today's video, we are going to talk about the ultimate cooling for your Raspberry Pi number three. Yes, number three. Sorry, guys. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to do a little bit of an unboxing together. What are we going to get? Nothing much. So let's see what's inside this little package from China. Ooh. Let's see, what do we have here? A little tool. Ah, we have this little pad that comes between the cooling element and the pipe itself. Ooh. So I ordered this one because of my arcade went up. I have overheating problems and I was just thinking, looking AliExpress like always. I'm thinking, ooh, nice goodie. I like the want, I want, I want. All right, so this is more like a two pieces that come, you yeah. know. That they use screw together. We're having two fans. Oh my god, these things are freaking cute. Oh, I hope these things are not freaking loud. To be honest, at first I just ordered the two shells. And I was thinking, I want the fans. I want to test it out in a video. I want to see what we're going to get. We can connect them straight through the Pi itself. One of the GPO ports. I'm going to show you where it is. And uh, we're going to screw it together. And I'm very curious of the result. So... Oh, first, let's grab my Pi from the arcade one up. So right, so this is the way I have added my Raspberry Pi to my arcade one up. I use the original casing. I must say, the casing itself, there was no big problem with it, but I've noticed this overheating problem. I already flipped open this case because <laughs> before the last time I did not do this, I got this little icon on my screen that it was overheating. So it's not overheating now, but so I'm going to replace this one for my special case and I'm very curious, are the fans loud and what is the cooling performance? So let's rip it out and let's replace it. So it's now 61 Celsius and I can tell you already, last time I checked it was even 71. So that is pretty damn hot if you ask me. Yeah, sorry guys, I need to throw it everything. I don't know what it is, but I really enjoy it. All right, but <sighs> there was the original. I really like the casing itself, so try to leave it in one piece. How did you really open it? Open. So one thing, uh, I think one thing I need to remove. Oh man, oh man. Oh man! Do you know what I'm going to do? Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to grab myself a new pie because uh, I don't want to remove all those things and the next pie I need to add them again. So it would be a waste of materials. So right, but it's just fun ripping it apart. So, Sorry guys, I removed the cooling element. A little bit of waste of materials, maybe we can reuse them. But the problem is I realized that this is a very old um, Raspberry Pi model. I reconfigure it for my case went up and don't want to mess around with the SD card and all the stuff. So, and overall, I'm just going to stick with the old one and uh, I'm going to clean up and I'm going to use these for an auto pie or whatever. Or maybe I'm not going to use them. All right, um, I'm going to clean up the little chips here and here. Um, which are special cleaning tools I have and uh, we're going to uh, make this an ultimate cooling pie all right so I've cleaned the chips again very important that you clean the chips um, there are some tools for uh, cleaning CPUs I'm just using this and uh, it's every everything looks very nice all right we're going to assemble it I'm going to do it step by step it's not very difficult but still building video all right, let's put this on here. This is number one. 
Well, number one. Now 140 small chip over here. Alright, let's put it on. Alright, next one. So the funny thing is they even give you an extra pad so if something goes wrong. Alright, the last one. Let's put this one on it. Yes, yes. Alright, very nice. Alright, the bottom. I'm going to go like this. Alright, let's see if I can put it on top. This one goes on top. Goes like this. Alright, so we can squeeze it together. Alright. Now we're going to grab our little tool. Let's go in here. It's very easy to bring this or add this to your Raspberry Pi. Okay, it's very important that you don't put them to all over the end or that you tighten it up. It needs to go in. Alright, let's grab this one. This one. And this one. Put them all together. Put them all together. Alright. Oh yeah. Of course I grabbed the wrong one. We're going to need the one with the big head. Alright, so this is the last one. This completes this casing, and now we're going to tighten them up. Not too hard because they are very tiny bolts. Gentle. Alright, that's one. Alright, very nice. Very nice. Alright, next step, we're going to put the fans in. Because of course I'm going to use with the fans. I'm going to be honest, if these things are too loud, I'm going to pull them out. Oh yeah. So, it's a little bit of a bummer. I did notice that there is a little quality issue. There is something wrong with this screw or the thread beneath it. So, there's a little bit of a bummer, to be honest. I can tighten the top, but it will not be that tight like all the other screws. It's a little bit of a bummer. And damn, this thing is very heavy now. Oh, sorry for the bad lighting, but I just put it in my arcade one up. I uh, was so excited. I just wanted to check it out. How loud are the fans? And I can tell you ready. I'm going to move the microphone close to the Pi. You can hear it yourself. These tiny fans are freaking silent. Wow. All right, so. I have put everything back together. I even closed the arcade cabinet because I want to create the same situation like I did before. Um, what I can tell you already and what you're seeing, it's getting way better cooled. You know, what I did is just render a game or play the game for quite some time and then I will go out of the menu and show you this, the temperatures, 55 degrees and it's pretty damn hot today. All right, so here we have a quick side-by-side. -side. At the top we're finding with the ultimate cooling for the Raspberry Pi, and at the bottom we are finding just without the little cooling elements. All right, people, for the final conclusion, what do I think of this upgrade? It's not the cheapest upgrade you can get if it comes to cooling, but I think it's a very good upgrade if you want to enjoy your Pi for a very long time. So it's really easy to put together and I just recommend you buy the one with the fans. It will, it will give you a little bit of a better performance, but they are silent and cost only a couple of dollars more. And overall, I am very happy. I'm very happy that I did this because, man, this thing was getting freaking hot. So now I have a very cool pie in my arcade one up. Alright, so that concludes this video. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell for more awesome wicked content. And if you're into gaming, check out the gaming channel. See you next time. Bye bye.